I'm Joaquin, uh, I'm 18 years old. I do fashion content creation on social media. I can put on any type of style and outfit and I feel like I look good in anything, to be honest. Like, I mostly go for like streetwear, baggier clothes and like proportions, stuff like that. Any styles I don't like? Um, I did not mess with cowboy boots for a good amount of time, but like they've been growing on me recently. I was in the past uh, teens blind dating video, I ended up winning. We're still on good terms, we're cool. It just didn't work out. Um, so I've never had a girlfriend actually. I've had a couple situationships, you know, here and there, but like when it happens, it'll happen the right way, you know? So, yeah. Okay, Joaquin, how you feeling? I'm cool, I'm just, I'm trying to get rid of the nerves right now, but I'm, I'm chilling though. Okay, okay, hold on. Okay, so I see a lot of platform and I see cowboy boots. Okay, I see the cowboy boots, but I, I'm messing with it though. I'm not gonna lie, I'm messing with it. My number one, I mess with those, the zipper is hard. I feel like all these shoes are, yeah, I like them. How would you describe your style, uh, starting with number one? Postmodern vintage. Okay. It's a really broad category. I like to kind of almost put on something that looks trendy, but then it's like a little off. All right, for sure, I messed with that. All right, number two. I'd say my style is very feminine and girly. Um, obviously, I have the cowboy boots, but I like to like style them with like skirts and dresses a lot, so sort of like out there and funky-ish. All right, cool. All right, number three. Um, honestly, my style changes a lot. Um, I'm trying to go for like a more preppy soft girl vibe right now. Okay. But sometimes I'm in like that destroyed lonely phase where I'm mm. wearing like Opium. all black and accessories mm. and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel that. Okay. So for me, I try to take inspiration off of like the 90s, early 2000s. Okay, cool. And like right now I have on like Converse and like jeans and stuff, but I like to wear dresses like when I go out and I like to dress up. So it okay. really depends on the day and how I'm feeling. Okay, cool, for sure. My style is very sentimental and I feel like I wear a lot of my friends' clothes or stuff that I make and like I am very into writing and okay. kind of incorporating that into what I'm wearing and just kind of making it like what has like certain memories or people attached to it. Okay, so you take a lot of inspiration for your, yeah. your stuff. Okay, cool, for sure. All right, number six. I definitely think I'm very girly, uh, meets street style. Um, I love looking on Pinterest, finding like different pieces of the photos that I like and putting them all together. Um, as you see, I'm wearing the Hello Kitty charms on my yeah, shoes. I that, and yeah. I just love adding like tiny little things here and there in my outfits to spice it up a little. So you like details on yes. your outfits? Okay, cool. It's crazy how everyone comes from like a different, I f with it, yeah, I mess with it, yeah. Uh, if you were to take me out anywhere for a date, where would you take me, number one? I feel like you can't go wrong with a good beach date, okay? The reason I like it is because it's messy, it's vulnerable, it's kind of silly. Of course, we can like eat some grapes and paint and read a book, okay. but then we can also like go in the water and like be freezing cold and just like kind of laugh together. I think it's like a shieldless way to have like a first date or something. So I feel like I would take you to the beach, have a good time. Yeah. I'll mess with that, yeah. Okay, cool. Number two. I love to be outside and being out in nature, so I love Griffith Park, it's so fun. Um, but also, if there's a good concert, I think concerts are really fun for a okay. state. Okay. Um, just to like see like different music tastes and like vibe and just dance and have fun and it's like no pressure. Okay, that's different, I mess with it though. Number three? Uh, I'm kind of spontaneous, but my go-to first date's always like, the arcade, because mm, okay. um, yeah, you just get to like see the other person's vibe and how good they are at things. It's like just a fun time. Okay, yeah, I would, yeah, that's that's a good one. I like that one. Uh, number four, yeah. Um, I would say an escape room, oh. but only because I feel like it's more intimate because it's just us in there. We got to see how we work together, see if we get out. Even if we don't, like, it's an experience for us to work together and get to know each other and how we solved problems. Okay, yeah, I, I like that a lot. Okay, cool. That's a good answer. Um, on our ideal day, we'd be up all night. Not like that, but <laughs> um, we would, um, I love exploring abandoned places, like going to abandoned military bases or houses or things like that. Um, but if that kind of scares you, we could go to like a little house show, um, depending on what kind of music there is. But yeah, I would just love to go on a walk and explore somewhere all night. Okay, all right. I definitely think a date's about, you know, getting to know each other. So 
First of all, I would say we would go out and pick outfits for each other oh. because I feel like it's a fun like way to bond and get to know each other. And then after we have a photo shoot, because I love photo oh, shoots. Okay. Um, okay. And then I would say honestly, just jam out to music in the car. For sure, I mess with that. Okay, yeah, that's a good answer. So you guys eliminate one person. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna be eliminating number five only because uh, the abandoned thing, I can't get behind that, I'm sorry. Uh, that's just not my thing, not my forte. Number five, ready? All right. Hi, how you Hi. doing? Nice to meet What's your you. name? I'm Gigi. Gigi, nice mm -hmm. to meet you. Nice to I messaged your outfit heavily. I like your Thank skirt. You. Yeah, I messed with yeah. it. Yeah. Thank you so much. For sure. Yeah. It was nice meeting nice you. Nice to meet you too. Okay. Okay. All right. I see a lot of skirts. A lot of skirts. I mess. Okay. I, I see the the hair clip on the what like what was what was the thought behind that? It matches with the blue on my shoes, and I thought it was you know how I love details, so I just decided to add that last minute, and I okay. love it. Okay. Yeah. That, I, I, it's different. And I mess with it. I say okay. Yeah. Music's really important to me, so uh, I just want to see like where your favorite music artists are, starting with number one. Absolutely. Um, music's a massive part of my life. I'm a dancer, so okay. I love old music. So like Jim Croce is one of my all-time faves, but then like obviously I love Phoebe Bridgers and Phineas and Lizzie McAlpine and those wonderful people. I also okay. love like Death Cab for Cutie, like the more grungy type of stuff. And then I also love like electro stuff, like some of Cold Plays, like older stuff as well. Okay. So yeah. Um, same for me. Music's a huge, huge part of my life. I've been singing since I was like two, um, and I play piano and violin, and I'm currently learning guitar. So my favorite artist is Renee Rapp. She's like up and coming, but her songs are so fire. What kind of music does she do? She's like, it's really hard to describe. I feel like she has her own type of genre, but okay. like they're very deep and heartfelt. Mm -hmm. And every time I listen to it, I cry. But she's just so good. Like, if you haven't listened to her, like, you have to go listen. I'm going to her concert in two months, and I paid too much money, but it's okay because it's worth it. <laughs> All right, cool. I love Playboy Cardi. He's oh, definitely my okay. number one artist. Okay. Because there's like chill Playboy Cardi, and then there's like hype Cardi. Mm -hmm. I have stuff like Juice World and Lil Peep. I have like some unreleased stuff that's really good. Would you say you're opium? I am opium. I have that in my Instagram bio. Oh, actually. okay. All right, <laughs> All right number four. My playlist can go from Cardi B to like BTS and then to like Sam Smith. It's very, you know, it's, it's very fun to listen to if you're going on a long drive. So mm -hmm. I just feel like it doesn't matter. If you want to add some songs to there, we can listen to them. I might learn them in a few days. Yeah, I'm the same way, honestly. I have a lot of, like, I listen to too many people, to be honest. <laughs> this is kind of crazy. It's no but. such thing. I'm very open to many genres. Um, I love making Spotify playlists, like, on, in my free time. Um, but I would say, like, my top. Um, genre has been like K-pop and EDM because okay. I really love like upbeat music. My favorite group is Twice, um, and for like EDM, I love melodic EDM a lot. Okay. Uh, so like Elenium, Griffin, and then I love indie pop. So like Conan Gray and maybe like rap too, like Twenty One Savage. Or mm, okay, okay. I hear a lot of like EDM, in which I don't really listen to a lot of EDM, but like I mean, I kind of like when it comes on, like I'll dance to it and stuff because I'm a dancer also. But I don't really judge about anyone's music taste. What would you say makes you different from all these other girls? Like, why should I pick you? Number two? I think you should pick me because I love to have a good time, but I also love to get super deep and really get to know a person. I definitely think that relationships should be an equal balance of fun, but also like sure. loving someone for who they are. Yes. Um, and also, I just think that I have a dog, so that could be a bonus point. <laughs> he's really cute and fluffy, um, and he loves hanging out with people, so he could come with us on some of our dates. Okay, bet, yeah. For sure. I'm very much like a homebody, but um, I love just going out and just chilling. Um, I could pretty much have a good time wherever. And honestly, it's just about the vibes with the person. Like it doesn't matter where we're at. And I love joking around and I love making jokes and comedy. Like I feel like you need to at least laugh like five times a day to be happy. <laughs> I definitely think that I thrive off of you know, being super unserious in many situations, mm. but definitely having like deep talks, and I love late night talks with people. Okay. I would also say that I take great photos, so I could take amazing photos of you. So you can be my photographer is what you're saying? You can be my photographer? Oh yeah, definitely, <laughs> for sure. Like I can, I won't get tired of it. I won't get tired of it. Okay, for sure. Right, I can cool. go for hours. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna have you do your second elimination, which means you're gonna 
Okay, so the first person I'm eliminating is number one. Uh, only because, like, I just don't really listen to a lot of EDM. That's not really my thing. Your other answer is really good, but I just, that's just like, I don't know. I, I just, yeah, I can't get behind that. Hi. Hi. How nice you doing? to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Georgia. Joaquin. I appreciate the, <laughs> the consensus. Mm -hmm. EDM is cool. I just love to dance. I'm glad you're a dancer. Yes, yes. Maybe we can hit a class at some point together. Let's do it, let's do it yeah. Good luck. They're beautiful. <laughs> you're gonna be great. Thank you. Um, second person I'll be eliminating is number three. Uh, I'm not the biggest Cardi fan, to be honest. Uh, and like Lil Peep, all that stuff, that's not really, like I don't really listen to them a lot. So I'd say, yeah, number three. Hello. Hi. Hi, how you doing? I'm Stephanie, how okay. are you? I'm doing good. I like your outfit though, your outfit's really nice. Oh, thank you, yeah. thank you. I like your shoes, they're thank super you. shiny. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, all right. It was all, that one was hard, I'm not gonna lie, but I had to get it done, so. I'm cool, I'm chilling, I'm chilling. Okay, wow, okay, the varsity, I like the varsity. I see some tattoos, I like what I see, it's cool. So what would you say like you're looking for like right now like dating wise? I'm definitely looking for someone long term. I've also never been in a relationship either, okay. so that's something fun for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely something long term. Um, someone that I can just be myself around and not be afraid to be who I am. Mm -hmm. um, definitely someone that wants to come hang out with me and my friends and then I want to hang out with his friends because I think that's super big. Um, family okay. too. And I think it's weird because a lot of people don't love to meet families when yeah, they first meet each other. Like, yeah. not right away obviously, but I don't know, I think it'd be fun to like hang out with our families or hang out with each other's friends and just do life together. Yeah, for sure, that's a good answer. So I'm just curious, if you could travel anywhere, where would you go and why? And what's one place you wanna see when you're there? My, like, my first spot I wanna go to is definitely the UK. Uh, I just love the culture there. Like the culture is like very like New York. My mom's from New York and I wanna go like see how it is basically. I really like the UK, I like everything. I listen to the music, everything. Cool, love that. All right, number two. I'm not necessarily dating to marry, but I do want something serious so that I can explore myself and find out what I like. I wanna know what the other person likes. Like, I just want us to be able to figure ourselves out because we are at an important age where we're growing and we're becoming adults. So I just feel like that's what I'm looking for, someone who's also on the same page as to like, we're having fun, but we're also like, we like each other, we're serious. Okay, cool. I want to ask, like, what is like your biggest red flag? I don't think it's a red flag, me personally, but I'm a very nonchalant person. Like, I don't take things to heart too much. Like, I'm a very chill person. Like, I don't like to have problems a lot. And people have told me that's a red flag, apparently, but I don't know. Honestly, I wouldn't say that's a red flag. I honestly love that, but I'm definitely not looking for something long term. But um, I love getting to know other people and just like, being chill with the other person, I guess. Um, I've also never been in a relationship, so I'm not sure about the like long-term stuff, but definitely like just like being with someone that can be super chill. Okay, all right, yeah. I heard you say that you also do content creation, so I wanted to ask like, what's your favorite part about it? I feel like it's just like the ability to be able to like do whatever you want and like people can love you for what you love also. You know what I mean? Like seeing people being inspired from like what I'm doing is like, that's like one of the best things to see. I really love that answer, honestly, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, that should be good. Um, okay, I th first person I'll eliminate is number three, uh, because I feel like me and you wouldn't really vibe too well together, to be honest. Like, you're saying you want short term. I'm not saying I want long term, but I feel like it just won't last the way I want it to. You know what I mean? Something like that, but yeah, I'd say number three. Hello, how Hi. you doing? What's your name? Jessica, nice to meet Jessica you. Jessica Joaquin. I love your outfit. Thank you, I love yours too. <laughs> Thank you. All right, for sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna eliminate number two. Uh, only because I feel like maybe you're a little too mature for me. I don't know, because it seems like it seems like you have a lot you know, I mean, I don't know. I just feel like, yeah, I say number two. <laughs> How you doing? What's your name? LaFonjanae. LaFonjanae, that's a great name. I love that name. I love your outfit, though. I like your outfit, too. Thank you. You're really nice. <laughs> Thank you. Can you explain a little bit, like, why you end up doing this 
person? She seems like a very kind person. She seems very nice. Her answers were all the answers I was looking for. Um, yeah, I just feel like me and her would just, we go really well together, yeah. Hi, Hi how you doing? Good, I'm Maddie. Maddie Joaquin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I love your outfit. Your oh, outfit is great. Thank you. Wait, yeah. I love your outfit. The shoes are so fine. Thank you, fire. thank you, thank you. You're yeah. very pretty, by oh, the way. You're really handsome. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'm definitely happy with my decision, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is exciting. Yeah. What can I have to ask? At the beginning, you mentioned that you weren't entirely into cowboy boots. I said I was getting into them more. So, you know, uh, yeah. But yeah, no, she makes them look good. So I mean, she, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I'm just, I'm good with my decision. I'm very good with my decision for sure. He was really cute. <laughs> very much my type. The outfit was so good. I feel like all the guys I'm around are like frat guys and then they dress like it. So someone whose fashion sense is like huge for me. This is actually exactly what I'm into. Really? So yeah, and the chains, like I love like earrings too. Like I think it's cool and guys wear jewelry. Low key, I would wear that jacket. You can, you can wear it if you want, only oh. if you want, only if you want. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. You know, I feel a little bad, you know, cause I know I had to make a couple of decisions that I wasn't really sure about. You know, I just had to just do it. But you know, I'm really happy with my decision at the end of the day. So if you guys were to go on a first date, what would that look like? I mean. Yeah, where do you want to take me? That's all I don't know. See, like I like to do fun things. Mm -hmm. So we could do bowling. We could do, okay. uh, but we could, we could plan it. I'll text you and stuff. I'm down. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm all right, down. Yeah. <laughs>